and it's going to be another quite average season this year. We're expecting 16 named storms, 8 uh, Category 1 hurricanes and 3 major Category 3s. Um, and we are expecting that maybe June will be the uh, busiest month of activity. Uh, maybe not so much of a surprise actually, it is that big first burst that we get in the Eastern Pacific season. A few key messages then. Indications so far point to a fairly average season, although storm activity could be weighted further east, and uh, that would obviously put storms along the western coast of Mexico, the Pacific coast. Now, early season storms could impact eastern Mexico and El Salvador further east than usual, uh, although it can happen, particularly in early season, watch out for that, um, with a strong early hurricane likely out to sea. Again, not, not too difficult to predict, but it does appear that that could happen, and maybe even a very strong hurricane. Um, the strongest storms during mid-season are expected to remain out at sea, but again, the, eastern, uh, the western coast of Mexico may still receive a substantial impact. In the late season, activity is expected to dwindle uh, quite sharply uh, through the month of October, um, and the chances of significant impacts will drop dramatically. Now the Central Pacific, uh, which is interesting news for some of our uh, fan base, which seem to have a Central Pacific fascination, but I'm afraid to tell you that it's expected to remain quiet for another year, with no clear indications that even Eastern Pacific storms will survive into the Central Pacific. As you can see, the elements are angry with me on that one. Um, However, activity east of Hawaii is possible in October, that's something to look out for, and maybe even beyond October, looking west of Hawaii, proper towards the central international dateline. And so uh, that is our expected storm tracks. Now let's look, um, oh I should also point out that Mexico is shown on those graphics as well, um, pretty normal, uh, higher chances than usual though along the coast around Colima. Uh, Coacan and uh, maybe even um, for areas like I think we're looking up towards Nayarit uh, also for significant tropical storm and possibly hurricane impacts from recurvatures this year. If you have any more questions uh, in general around Force 13 and what we do um, and possibly to join in on our contributor drive please feel free to send us a message uh, contact at force13.com or you can also send us messages on social media at Force13 on Twitter and you can search Force13 on Facebook and join our Discord server with our big community of over 3,800 uh, storm trackers right now all around the world covering all weather topics. You can find it at discord.gg slash Force13.